Welcome back, everyone here to Bronx Talk. Today, we are going to be talking about the New York Yankees and their leadoff situation. It seemed going into basically the conclusion of the first half of the season, the Yankees were really searching for a leadoff man. They were really struggling to find a leadoff man. And it had been Anthony Volpe for a really long time, but then he really started to struggle. He moved out of the leadoff spot. It was Ben Rice for a little bit. And then they moved Ben Rice out of the leadoff spot. We saw Verdugo in the leadoff spot a couple times, and we saw DJ LeMahieu. It seems right now the Yankees are in just a constant search to find that leadoff man. And it's important. It's very important for the New York Yankees because after the leadoff batter, they have Juan Soto and Aaron Judge following. So it is very imperative that the Yankees, you know, have someone – leading off who's getting on base at a decent clip, or they put the best option um, that they possibly have out there to bat lead off to get on base for Soto and judge, because those two guys in the lineup, they make up so much of the Yankees offense. They do so much, you know, you don't necessarily want them coming up with, you know, one out or, or two outs at the bottom of, bottom of the order, make some outs. You want to make sure that they're coming up there with runners on base and it's imperative the Yankees find that leadoff hitter. So we're going to be talking about who should bat leadoff for the Yankees in the second half. Yeah, there's three guys I can kind of just write off who have been leading off. Uh, the first one's DJ LeMayhew. I mean, kind of hopeless. He can't be leading off. He really can't be starting. But I think they kind of have to wait until the trade deadline to address that. The second guy is Alex Verdugo. And, I mean, it's just been straight ground balls, uh, shortstop, second base. You know, I wouldn't totally write this guy off, you know, down the stretch. You know, we've seen him get hot, and his at-bats are very good. But at least right now, I, I really just don't think he can be hitting in front of Soto and, and Judge. And then the third guy is Anthony Volpe, who, uh, who got some run at leadoff he's the most at bats in baseball actually which is kind of crazy um you know me and ryan were didn't love putting him at leadoff as early as they did we kind of thought he should get a little more acclimated down there in the lineup but they did it worked out for a little bit now it's not so i mean three guys right there that i think the yankees just have to stop because i mean it's kind of auto outs at the top of the lineup uh my pick at leadoff would be austin wells he has a 309 on base percentage this year. Uh, but keep in mind, he got off to a very slow start. And when he was at that slow start, I mean, me and Ryan were both saying, and a lot of people were saying this, that uh, he was getting very unlucky. He was having good at bats. He was hitting the ball hard. And I think we're seeing it come together. Um, his at bats are very good. He kind of uses the whole field. And I really think, I mean, he's probably our fourth best hitter in the lineup right now. And assuming they want to keep the the Soto, Judge, Ben Rice dynamic, I, I think Wells is the best option there. Yeah, Wells has certainly been swinging the bat very well. I think he'd be a good person to have uh, leading off for the New York Yankees. Yankees. He's certainly played really well in his last, you know, basically month or so of games. He's played really well. And Carlos Narvaez, you know, they just brought him up. Trevino's going on the IL with the quad injury. He's going to get a lot of run. He's going to play a lot. And I think he's probably the best option for the Yankees right now to lead off. Look, he's a catcher. Is he going to be stealing a ton of bags? No, but Austin Wells is an athlete. I wouldn't necessarily consider him someone who's, you know, like slow as molasses, can't run at all. Like, I think he can get on base. He actually – he doesn't steal a lot of bags, but he doesn't really get thrown out either. Obviously, that's not going to factor in, you know, the Yankees' decision. They just need someone to get on base for Juan Soto and Aaron Judge. But, you know, Austin Wells could be sort of a temporary leadoff guy. Look, the trade deadline is approaching. We've heard a ton of rumors. I think a perfect leadoff hitter for the New York Yankees, if they were to go out and acquire him, would be a guy like Jazz Chisholm. I mean, he is really, really fast, very, very speedy. I think he'd be a great guy to bat leadoff for the New York Yankees. He's going to get pitches to hit um, batting in front of Soto and Judge. So, look, I'm sure that, you know, the Yankees front office, Brian Cashman and company, 
are looking and looking out there. They're looking for someone to bat lead off for the Yankees. They obviously have a lot of positions to fill. So I think when you look at the trade realm and you look at the trade avenues, maybe the Yankees should go out there and get, you know, an athletic guy, someone who's a typical leadoff hitter, because look, we don't know what's going to happen with Anthony Volpe. I think everyone, you know, wants Anthony Volpe to be that leadoff hitter for the Yankees because he has all the tools to do so. But Christian, he's been struggling for a really, really long time. This is no like two, two week, three week slump. No, I mean, this has been going on for over a month. His OPS, um, his on, uh, excuse me, his on base percentage, I think in his last 30 games, it's under like 250. I mean, it's really, really bad. So, you know, you don't totally know if he's going to figure it out. Why not go out there and get a pro t- uh, typical leadoff hitter at the top of the lineup? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, they can buy time for the next two, three weeks. I do agree with Boone. He did say uh, on Talking Yanks that he doesn't want to move Judge and Soto. I agree. They're both doing phenomenal. And I think if you just move everyone up, the lineup is just too thin. And mm. I know it's not ideal to have, you know, like a, a 700 OPS guy in the leadoff spot, whoever it is. But, you know, then four through, and I guess they will have Stanton coming back, so that should help. But yeah. you know, say you move all of them up, I mean, then really five through nine, it's just not great. I mean, you have Austin Wells in there, Torres, if he – you know, continue swinging the bat well. Uh, I I would say keep Judge and Soto where they are. They just need someone uh, to get on base in front of them. Uh, so we'll see what happens with Volpe if he can transition into that spot. But, yeah, if it was up to me, I'd say until the Yankees do something at the trade deadline, I would go Austin Wells. Only knock I think you could really have is that it's three out of four lefties. Uh, to start off the game, but I mean, does that really matter? I think Soto splits are relatively even. Um, I think it'll be fine. So we'll see what the Yankees do. Bottom line, though, I think is they just can't have those three guys leading off anymore. Yeah, they're going to need to make a change. The Yankees have, you know, struggled to score runs uh, throughout their whole, you know, slump or slide, whatever. Um, going to need to make a change. I think Austin Wells is the right answer. We've heard some talks, um, people bringing that up. Interesting to see if the Yankees will end up doing that. But look, I mean, it, it it's broken. It's not working right now. Uh, I think Austin Wells is your best shot as of now at leadoff. And, uh, you know, you can make changes at the deadline if you bring in the right personnel. But we'll see what the Yankees do. Uh, trade deadline's definitely approaching. And, uh, Yankees are going to be back in action Friday. It's going to be interesting to see who's leading off. 